Ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, boys and girls, welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. Please pay attention during this video as we will discuss the expectations while on campus here at GCHS. Please follow all the outlined expectations to keep everybody safe and healthy. Hello Bulldogs. My name is Ryan Geist and I'm assistant principal at Grant Community High School. Let me first start off by saying on behalf of our staff that we are very excited to be having students back on campus beginning Monday, October 19th. Now I also want to acknowledge that having 25% of students on campus is not the ideal scenario. We would love to have 100% of students back on campus and operating as we were pre-COVID. Unfortunately, the cards we were dealt we are, in a, we are in a pandemic. And so there are Illinois State Board of Education guidelines, Lake County um, Health Department protocol that we must follow. Now the purpose of this video is to make sure that students are aware of what those expectations, what those guidelines are while on campus. The other, part, the other purpose of this video is to supplement our student handbook, which is already online under the students tab on the GCHS website. So please make sure you review this video and you understand what those expectations are before you arrive on campus. So until Monday, guys, keep it red. We look forward to seeing you. Hey Bulldogs, just want to let you know that here at GCHS, we are responsible for contact tracing. So if someone has COVID, we have to have a list of who was in contact with that person. With that being said, the expectations for seating charts and assigned seats in various settings are very important. Please make sure to follow the assigned seating charts as we are all in this together. Hi Bulldogs, this is Cassie in the attendance office. And I'm Judy. And we're just giving you a friendly reminder, give us a call in the attendance office if you are not going to make it into school or if you will not be present on e-learning. The phone number to the office is? 847-587-2266 or you can have your parent or guardian email us at attendance at grantbulldogs.org. Also, do not forget to have a parent self-certify online before you come into the building or each day you need to go on to Skyward and self-certify. Have a great year! Remember that prior to attending school for your day of the week, you do need to complete the health certification checklist through Skyward. A parent logs in, selects you as a student, and then selects yes or no for the symptom checklist on the app. There are going to be some differences during phase one while riding the school bus, and that starts at the bus stop. The expectation is, while at the bus stop, to remain socially distant from those around you if anybody is at the bus stop with you. When getting on the bus, remember, you should have already self-certified, and when you get on, you'll notice that the first four seats are not available. Those are actually put up to provide social distancing for the bus driver. The expectation is that you move to the first available seat towards the back of the bus. Fill in the bus from the back and then start moving forward. Due to contact tracing, we are going to ask that once you choose your seat, you stay in that seat and that seat that you choose will actually be your seat for the remainder of the semester or until phase one is complete. So again, once you choose your seat, that will be the seat you are expected to sit in moving forward. Upon arriving at Grant High School, there will only be four entrances available to use to get into the building. Doors 1 and 14 will be available to you to use if you were dropped off by a parent or guardian. Doors 9 and 6 will be available to you if you were driven by somebody, if you drive on your own, or if you took the bus. In order to enter the building, you do need to complete a health check-in survey. If any of the questions are answered yes, you will be asked to quarantine and a parent will have to come pick you up. If the questions are answered no, you will be allowed entrance as long as your temperature, which is taken at the door, is below 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's a little demonstration of how quick it can go. 
Hey, welcome, young man. How are you doing today? Doing very well, thank you. Welcome to Grant. Please take a minute and read all these uh, on the chart here, please. Let me know whether or not I have any of these symptoms. I'm going to answer no to all those questions, and I do not have any of those symptoms. That's very good. I'm glad to hear that. Sounds like you're keeping good. yourself healthy. I will take your temperature real quick, and then, boom, you're all good to go. Come thank on. you Come very on. much. Have a great day. While in the hallways, it is expected that you move from point A to point B. Do not stop and hang out in the hallways. If you need to use the restroom, make sure there's no more than three in the restroom, and then move on to your next class. Again, the expectation is not to hang out in the hallways, to remain socially distant, and to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. And while at Grand High School, make sure you're staying on the right side of the hallways and keeping your six feet from the person in front of you. Additionally, lockers are not going to be used during phase one. Therefore, keep all your belongings with you and bring them from class to class. It's also a good idea to keep your coat with you as the weather is getting colder and the windows will be open to provide ventilation in the classrooms. While on campus, masks are required at all times. Please no gaiters or bandanas. Masks must be worn to cover your nose and mouth. There will be mass breaks provided during study hall. Hey Bulldogs, number one Dean here. Just want to remind, remind you about your classroom expectations. Please remember to stay social distancing while in the classroom. Please remain seated and if you need a washroom break, please raise your hand and get your teacher's attention. Finally, please continue to wear that mask over your nose at all times. Thanks for following those expectations. Just a reminder, Bulldogs, when utilizing the washroom, we'll be limited to only having two to three students in the washroom at a time during this uh, phase one period. Yes, sir. Mr. Bennis, am I allowed to have a uh, mask break, please? Oh, sure. This is study hall. This is the uh, really best time to, to do this. So oh, let me you. Write, you, write you a little pass here and you head out to the mass break area and you can go ahead and take care of that. Thank you, and I just show them the yellow pass. Just hang on to that, keep it with you at all times. Thank you very much. All right, whistle it right back up here when you're done. While utilizing a mass break, again, with your yellow pass, please enter the mass break area, then you can remove your mask Remain socially distant from anybody else that happens to be in the mask break area. Keep your mask with you so that when you're ready to leave, you can put your mask back on. Upon leaving, your mask must be back on before entering back into the school area. Lunchroom expectations. Please enter the lunchroom and go directly to the serving line, get your lunch, and then you will go to your seat. Uh, once you pick your seat, that will be your assigned seat for the rest of the semester. If you do need to leave the lunchroom, you will have to get a pass from the supervisor. Please stay seated in the assigned seat until the bell rings, and when you're done, you can exit through the exit. It is a one-way in and a one-way out. At this time, all vending machines are off limits. At the conclusion of the school day, the expectation is that all students will exit the building in a timely manner. There will be no loitering on campus. So please, gather your belongings and head out to your mode of transportation. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Shell, and I'm here to give you a brief update about TSI and how we will be operating uh, for the foreseeable future. We are going to be handling small break fix issues uh, over the next few months for your Chromebooks. We will not be offering charging serv services for the foreseeable future. Please send all referrals to tech at grantbulldogs.org for any issues that you're having. You will be able to charge in class this year, so please bring your charger with you or chargers will be available for you in the classroom. Thank you very much. Hey Bulldogs, just want to say thank you for taking your time and uh, undivided attention to watch this video. Just some key things to take away. Number one, 
practice social distancing. Number two, always wear your mask over your mouth and nose appropriately. And if you can follow these tasks, it'll help keep everybody within the building safe and healthy. And so just want to welcome you back to the building. Go Bulldogs.